Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Pastor Rodney Smiling coming to you again with more instruction from God's Holy Word and your daily drive-by. Yeah. Listen, I want to talk to you all today about when you find yourself in a situation that you wish that there was someone who would help you, someone that would extend some sort of help towards you or assistance to help you get out of a situation that you may feel like is too much for you to handle or to bear. Um, I want to talk to you about what, what happens when you go through these situations and maybe you may find that it seems like no matter how much you try to call people or maybe try to explain your situation, they don't really understand the gravity of what you're going through like you feel it or like you understand it. Um, and it seems like you may try to explain yourself over and over again and if you're not careful, it may almost feel like you're begging for help and it seems like you're not getting it. I want to talk to you today that the Word of God says, casting all of our cares upon Him, for He cares for us. I want you to know that the Word of God teaches us that God knows every pain you feel. He knows every situation you go through. For the scripture says that our Lord was tempted in all points like we, yet He was without sin. And then the scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, it says, There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above what you are able, but will with every temptation make a way to escape, that you can bear it, that you can handle these things. So what does that mean for us today? What does that mean is that sometimes we constant, we may find ourselves looking for um, help outside of us, but the greatest help is within us. For the Bible says, do not say in your heart who shall ascend into heaven to bring Christ down, the word Christ meaning anointed one or savior or deliverer. Who's going to bring the deliverance or the savior down to me? Or don't say in your heart who's going to descend into the deep to bring him up for me. But it says, what does the word say? The word is in your mouth. It's in your mouth. So <laughs> I want to talk to you all today about guess what you know some of the the most answers to the answers to most of all of your problems is in what you say in what you do that means you have to be cognizant and 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 cognitive of what you are doing if you are speaking negatively what i mean by that if you are complaining about your situation versus speaking what your situation should be, then yes, you're going to find that oftentimes the challenges that you go through feel a bit overwhelming because you have overwhelmingly um, placed a negative cloud over your life. It is important for you to know what God has to say about your life what God has to say about your situation. So I want to encourage you today that, yeah, you can talk to a friend, you can get a counselor, you can call me and, and ask for counsel, whatever the case may be. But I want to ask you, do you first know what God has to say about your situation and about you? Because if you don't know what God has to say about you, then you won't change the way you talk. I'll give you a perfect example or a parable, if you will. If you, um, let's say if you have financial situations, right? But let's say if someone in your family have passed on and left you an inheritance, and that inheritance is worth, let's say a billion dollars. And let's say you have a bill due that's $300. When you understand what's been given unto you, then although maybe the day before you would have freaked out or or say oh I don't know where I'm gonna get the money from today you look at it differently and you speak differently you tell them don't look at my account because my account doesn't have it but look at this account that has been entrusted to me and this account says that that bill is paid for this account says that that bill is taken care of that's the same thing, people of God, of what God has done for you and I. He has deposited something as an inheritance for you and I in order to use in this life. And we have got to um, withdraw from that account by our faith and with our words. So if you are speaking negatively, 
if you're complaining, if you're fussing, if you're constantly rehearsing verbally what has gone wrong or what things have frustrated you. Oftentimes I hear people, you know, if they come to me for counsel and they'll share with me their problem because they'll share with me what issues they're having. And then I will say to them, okay, so now let's focus on the positive. And they'll listen to what I have to say, the positive, but then afterwards they'll go, yeah, because I'm saying, because when I went through this and went through that, they'll end up repeating the same negativity that they came to get rid of. And what does that do? You must remember that words are like seeds. When you kick them out, they plant and they bear fruit. So if you have consistently spoken words of negativeness or negativism, ism, <laughs> if you have um, spoken words of doubt or fear or worry, if you've spoken words of hatred or anger, then no, no wonder your garden is full of that same fruit. Your garden is full of that same fruit. And guess what? Here's the thing you have to remember about fruit. When you plant a seed, that fruit bears, it, 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 it produces, or that seed produces fruit. Once that fruit comes to maturity, that fruit has multiple seeds within itself. Which means, if you're not careful, the seeds that you plant now will eventually multiply in your future and it'll start to reproduce of its own and it'll seem like it's following you. It'll seem like it's a cloud that's following you. Why? Because you enjoy the rain. But I want to encourage you today. <laughs> if you enjoy the R-E-I-G-N rain, then you must speak kingdom talk. You must speak the words that speak those things into existence that are not as though they already were. You must speak the words of faith for the just shall walk by faith and not by sight. Listen, your sight, your, your five senses, all of these things will tell you what your destiny is incorrectly. Don't look at your situation and think that this is your where you stand and where you're supposed to stay. Because right where you are right now, you can change the course of where you are by just speaking a word, by speaking something different. So what is it that you wanna to accomplish today? What is it that you want to obtain today? What is it that you believe in your heart about you? And be honest with yourself. If you are doubting your future, if you're doubting who you are, then do like the man said to Christ, when Christ said, if you can believe, all things are possible to those who believe. And he says, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. He recognized there was a part of him that was still negative inside. And you have to be honest with yourself and honest with the spirit of the Lord. If there's negativity inside, if there's stuff that's been put into you and it has become habitual, it has become something that's traditional, something that's regular, something that you constantly do. You must ask God to deliver you from that. The scripture says, create in me a clean heart and renew in me a right spirit. One prophet said, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God bless you. Have a marvelous, marvelous day.